Hey, this is your favorite German compositor Sebastian Schütt and today I'll show you a quick way of creating a filtration mask. While working with plates, we often perform operations that require filtering. If we scale up images, Nuke has to come up with new pixels to fill up the bigger resolution. If we translate or rotate images to a point where a pixel is not simply mapped to a new pixel, but rather in between, filtering is needed. If you are interested in that topic, please check out my videos about the blur and or transform node in which I explain the math behind it and how to use it in production. Now, let's say we need to know what kind of filtering our image went through so that we can treat areas that might have gotten too soft or we want to simply regrain them. Let me show you a very simple setup. The only thing we have to do is to create a checkerboard node and we set its resolution to 1 so every single square matches the size of one pixel of our project format. We will only use pure black and pure white squares so we have to change the default values for that. With the help of a copy node, we integrate it into the B pipe of our plate. The red channel is enough and I'll create a new layer for this called filtration. Now we invert this checkerboard so all the black pixels turn into white and vice versa. We copy this result into the green channel of our filtration layer. When we perform transformations, it not only affects the RGBA channels of our plate or image, but also all other layers we are passing through. Of course, unless we specifically force nodes to only perform actions on isolated layers. At the end of our script, after we've applied all kinds of transformations and distortions, we simply shuffle out the red and green channel of our filtration mask and merge them with a min operation. Now let me disable all nodes first. The min operation looks at both inputs, A and B, and for every pixel, outputs the input that has the darkest pixel. Since we inverted the checkerboard for the green channel, they cancel each other out and we end up with black. When we perform filter operations though, the edges of our squares break up because the black and white values blend into another. If I enable our transformations and distortions now, we can see that we get values of white wherever this filtering happens, since the squares are not lining up perfectly anymore. The pixel blending caused by the filtration lets our white values sit at 0.5 so I use a multiply set to 2 to increase it to 1. This can be used to treat the areas that suffered from filtration, maybe got too soft or too sharp, or we can use it to apply proper grain in those regions, since it most likely got distorted and softened too. This mask is easy to set up and it will not significantly slow down your script. This is Sebastian Schütt and I'll see you soon.